Hello property people, today I find myself in Aleppo, I've got this cracking five bedroom detached property currently run as a very successful um, bed and breakfast. Just want to show you how far we are from the ferry terminal, it's about two minutes walk down there to the ferry terminal. So we've got all this car parking that goes with the property, a lovely meadow garden at the front for the bees. So yeah, let's have a look through, so you'll see no vacancy signs, they're very very busy, they're um, the occupancy is very, very high. It's almost 100% in the season. Um, lots of repeat business to get as well. This property could equally be purchased as a just a normal property. I'm all, I'm all family to live in. But the current owners have run it for a very successful uh, bed and breakfast. Um, so I'll give you a walking tour of the property. So this is the lounge. Wood burning stove. Lovely fireplace there. So we're going to the kitchen diner. Again, this is just um, the owners use this as their own dining area. So on the ground floor, we've got a Sheridan WC. Beyond this door is the owner's accommodation. And through the hall here is the breakfast room, dining room for the guests. So there's um, four bedrooms upstairs. The one downstairs. So let's have a look upstairs. The Alpole's kind of the gateway to the Outer Hebrides. The ferry regularly goes from Alpole to Stornoway. So, yep, double bedroom for the guests. Lots of space. I'll finish off the garden. On street shower room. Uh -huh. One suite. As you can see, as you would expect for a successful bed and breakfast, it's been decorated and maintained to a very high standard. So the forward bookings would, if the owners wanted to take over as a B and B, would be um, obviously given to the new owners. So you'd be buying a property with, if you wanted to. Uh, Future order book of guests. This is the family room. En suite. They're all en suite upstairs. This is set up as a twin. It's got an en suite. Let's have a look at the back card. So the owners own this part of the land to the kerb to the Drystone Dyke there. They bought that a while ago. And we've got this massive garden at the back, which is a bit unusual for any town property, really. Um, I suppose of the, you could actually put planning permission in, perhaps, to give out this plot and maybe build a bungalow or a house on it. That's maybe an option for the future for somebody. So there we go. This property available very soon. Any questions at this stage, by all means, drop me an email or WhatsApp. Happy to help. Thank you for watching.